Hey guys, in this video we are going to be doing another um, exploiting of print nightmare, uh, but in this video it's going to be for the Baltimore, the Maryland, the local uh, domain controller. On the previous one we did the Bronx, the North, the New York, the local domain controller, which we got a reverse shell and it was really cool. So now we are going to go ahead and do it for Baltimore and let's see how he goes for us guys so we first um we created the dll so we're going to be using the same dll that we created before um before we do that we can just verify that actually the maryland is actually um vulnerable to this print nightmare and you can see that it is Right by executing the RPC dump.py IP address, and we get these parameters over here, and we do get it. So, uh, from the SMB, uh, I still have that SMB server up and running. Right uh, on the shell, I'm gonna have to go ahead and run SMB again. I'm going to be using the same DLL and see if we can if we can um, if we can get a shell right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start MSF console. All right, let's see. All right, so that is working. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Also, I forgot to add something on my other, on my other command, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it now so you guys don't don't get mad at me because I missed something. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is that we need to use the multi handler, right? After that, we are going to set the payload, um, payload to the same payload that we used before windows X 64. And we are going to use in the show reverse reverse TCP the local host or set L host one eight two one six eight that fifty six that thirty one set L port four 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 since we are going to be using the same DLL and let's go ahead and run this bad boy. So this one is up and running. Uh, we are looking good looking good. So now we are going to clear this out. We are going to run the same Python script that we ran before, but since it is from the Maryland the local, we are going to be authenticating um, with a hash that we got from Teresa Paris before. So here's the hash, right? We are still going to be getting the, let me see, I got this incorrect over here. This one needs to be the, it needs to be, and I forget it needs to be remote that DLL remote that DLL that's the one that we want to execute right so the hash right we authenticate with a hash so you can authenticate with a hash you can authenticate um, with so many others so let's go ahead and copy this before we do anything else I want to go ahead and copy this and I can show you that if you do a Python you know this is something that I always do I, whenever there's an exploit I always like to take a look at what we can do how we can authenticate uh, and, and you know what are the options for this so whenever I you know tell you to use this script um, always take a look at what options you can use always it's really really interesting what you can find what you can do with a with a script now because I'm using it uh, one way it cannot be used another way right so just go ahead and take a look and read through it and see what options and arguments there are that you can use um, and that's how I found out that I was able to do the hash right i was able to pass the hash with this so let's go ahead and do that and when we execute this uh, we can see that we get a we get this authenticated successfully on the smb but it did not get anything right we did not get a show this did not work what is going on guys this is because um different uh the windows defender was caught this file and it says that it contains a virus or potentially unwanted software. 
So it didn't work. It was called by Defender and it got deleted. So we have another, um, we can do something else, which is basically we are going to craft a new DLL and this new DLL is going to be able to bypass Defender because it's basically it's just going to, um, it's just going to create a new user and in, with that new user, we are going to add that new user to the administrator and we are going to be able to basically to, um, we are going to be able to, um, to just dump everything through crack Mac, crack map exec. And we are also going to be able to RDP to it so we can clean up the, all the spool drivers that are in there so we can clean up our mess right so let's go ahead and start with this let's go ahead and go to the SMB where we are hosting the DLLs right and here's the one that you know that got caught by the antivirus so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating a new um, a new file in here and this one we are going to be naming it. Um, let's say, let's say, add user, add user. That C. We are going to paste this, um, and this DLL is basically just going to be creating a user. If you take a look at it over here, if you want to change this, you can. So here's the username, um, your nightmare. And here's the password, just browsing one, two, three exclamation. Um, so if you want to change that, you can go ahead and change that. Um, so, and here's what we are going to be adding it uh, as an administrator, right? It's going to be an, a local admin. So we're going to have local access to that server, which is the main controller. So basically we're going to be able to dump, dump everything. So let's go ahead and save this. After this is saved, we are going to need to creates a we are going to need to compile it so to compile this you need to download the main GW uh, which I'm going to leave you um, the commands on how to do that since I already have it I'm just going to go ahead and run this and compile it there we go no issues that's awesome cool beans um, and we get this new DLL in here um, so if you change the name, uh, let's go ahead and just change the name. I don't like that name, right? Um, let's go ahead and just ch change it to your nightmare. If I know how to spell that, your nightmare, that's the LL. All right, so now we are good to execute this guy. We don't need this handler anymore because we are now going to be running the um, remote execution, right? Because it just, it didn't work so let's go ahead and run this and we are going to be running where's the command that we ran before it's this guy but before we do that we need to go ahead and go back to the directory where we downloaded or where we have that Python script because otherwise it won't work right so we are going to be running this one more time we are not going to be using the remote DLL because we got called by the antivirus. We are going to be using your nightmare DLL. Run that guy. You can see over here, exploit completed. All good to go, right? So hopefully our user got created. So since we think that our user, let me go ahead and copy this, got created. Um, what we can try is do a try to do a dump with crack map exec, right? So if we run crack map exec, we're going to be using the SMB module. Um, the target is going to be the Baltimore, the Maryland, the local DC or domain controller. The user is the one that we just created your nightmare. You can change that user if you want to on the that C before you execute it, right? Or before you compile it. And the password was just browsing one, two, three exclamation. And we want to dump the NTDS. Let's see what we get. Boom, there we go. And we got the dump of the database. 
that's really awesome so let's go ahead and copy this guy um, all right so also if you want to do like execute something see who am I you can do that here on crack map exec there we go NT authority system we are good man we pawn this um, server and we got the NTDS so we got the hashes for the actual administrator in here uh, let's see if we actually okay run this one more time the NTDS um, you can see your nightmare is in here now and this one too that's one that one was created before when I was testing everything to make sure that it works right so here it is your nightmare and P nightmare is also in there so that's awesome guys that's awesome so now we are going to be able to RDP to it but we cannot do it from parrot OS I always forget we need to do it from our VM just make sure that you are connected to the VPN right so you need to do this from your VM you cannot do it from um, the parrot OS because we are only running SSH and the RDP won't be able to open this window all right so we got it over here um, the way to clean this up first I will I believe you need to go to services you need to go to what is a principaler you can see that it's running uh, we need to stop this guy before we can clean this out and we need to go to Windows so C Drive Windows we need to go to system 32 which is in here after that uh, we need to go to spool here we go after that we go to uh, we go to drivers because you know the DLL is an actual driver so spool so this drivers x64 number three and we are going to see some sketchy drivers which is this one over here that was the test that we did let's go ahead and delete it and if we, if we didn't stop the service we were we were not going to be able to delete this because it's going to say that it is still open uh, so if that's one of them is there another one your nightmare there we go your nightmare that DLL yeah we got to remove that guy from here there we go and I think that's all the ones that we created let's see if we do like a date modify yep that's all the ones that we created um, so yep we are cleaning up and let me see if we do three let's see the old ones three again here we go your nightmare is still in there we got to remove it from there as well and I think that's it um, so yeah we were able to to do that how about that so yeah in this video we try to get that reverse shell with the DLO that we use on the Bronx down north down in your local it didn't work because it got caught by Windows Defender and let me see if Windows Defender says something in here Windows Defender uh, it got called by Windows Defender and since he got called by Windows Defender the real-time protection that's why it's you know we couldn't because this is on and that's why we, we weren't able to do that I mean we can now turn it off and get a shell but you know we don't want to do that so yeah we tried to get a reverse shell just like we did on the previous video we couldn't get one because it got called by Defender the real-time monitoring and what we did was we just um, uh, we we, we craft now we craft it we just copy and paste this um, this that C and we compile it into a DLL and and in that DLL it basically it was if you uploaded it and it got executed by the print spooler it was going to create a new user which it did new username and password and it added it as an administrator since it added him as an administrator we were able to dump the NTDS database through crack map exec which is really awesome and then after that we just cover our tracks right we cover our tracks by deleting the DLL uh, but the username is still there so but at least they won't know for sure or they, it's gonna take them longer to figure out how that um, that username got created but guys um, this is it for this video hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos 
I will see you on the next one. Wait, and before we do that, let's go ahead and start the Prince Spoiler again so that I can keep playing with it, right? Boom, there we go. So yeah, guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.